In this tutorial, we'll create a reusable dataset using a local subject area and a file as workbook authors in Oracle Analytics. Creating a dataset by joining a local subject area and a file allows me to reuse this dataset in multiple workbooks so that I don't need to recreate it every time I want to use it. I'll begin on the home page by selecting Create, then Dataset to open the Create Dataset dialog. I'll select Local Subject Area to view a list of the pre-built subject areas that are available to me based on the permissions that have been granted in this environment. In this example, I want to create a reusable dataset of employees and their performance ratings. I'll select and drag the HCM Workforce Core Subject Area to the Join Diagram. When I hover over the table, there are no columns selected yet. I'll select the columns to include in my dataset by double-clicking the table. This opens the HCM Workforce Core table in the Transform Editor. Each folder displayed contains columns of attributes and measures. Attribute columns contain text, dates or numbers that are not aggregated such as year, country, identifier or name. Measure columns contain values that can be aggregated, such as revenue or headcount. I'll expand worker and then basic information. I can select one or more columns and drag them into the selections area. If I want to use all these attributes, I'll select the basic information folder and then add selected to add all the columns. I can also remove all or choose which columns to remove. For example, I'll click Person Username and then Remove Selected. Now that I have the attributes, I'll add some facts. I'll expand the Workforce Headcount Facts folder, then scroll down to select Facts Workforce Headcount, then Add Selected. Now I have 58 columns in my table. I'll select the Data Access option to specify whether a dataset table is live or cached. Live retrieves the latest data directly from the data source each time a query is run. Automatic caching stores query results in a cache, which allows for faster retrieval. All tables in a dataset should be set to access data in the same way for best performance. Since my queries will be similar, I'll use automatic caching. Once I have the columns I need, I'll click OK. Then I'll select the Join Diagram tab to confirm my work. Now all 58 columns I selected are populated in this local subject area. Now that I have my new data set, I need to add my data file, which contains employee performance information. I'll click the Add icon and select Add file. Then I'll locate my performance dataset .csv file and select Open to open the preview. I'll click OK to return to the join diagram. The tables have been joined because Auto Join Tables is enabled. If it was not enabled, I would need to select and drag the join manually. Next, I'll explore the join by clicking the join icon. The system automatically matched a column with the same name and data type. By default, the join type is an inner join. An inner join returns rows from the left table that match with the rows from the right table. On the join diagram, I'll select the performance data set and then select the measure icon next to the person identifier column title. Since I will not be performing any mathematical calculations with this column, I'll select attribute. When I click the Join icon and Add Join Connection, the Person Identifier is automatically matched. I want to ensure the columns contain unique data, so the performance data is matched to the correct employee. For example, Person Full Name data will not be unique if I have more than one employee with the same name. I'll click the Save icon, name the new dataset as Combined Performance Dataset, then click OK. Find additional tips and resources on using Fusion Data Intelligence resources in the links below.